everyone welcome back with me krishna again in this channel channel that always give you the information about places in bali with an update situation how are you today i hope you're doing good stay safe and healthy wherever you are okay today i'm back in legian area since some of you would like me to see the situations at poppy's lane 2 so today i will drive you along this street this is jalan patimura i'm not really sure if a lot of you are familiar with this street and also later i'll continue to jalan legian and then poppy's lane 2 and also i will drive you around the beach walk area at jalan pantai kuta guys so let's see what's happening today, don't go anywhere and let's watch until the end of this video. Okay, so we are entering Jalan Legian in Kuta. So as you can see, the street situation, it's considered quiet for this Legian street. It used to be very busy street before. But as you can see, most of the businesses are open like shops, spa, cafes, and earlier we passed by a bar, I think. And here on the right side is the Legion Club. They are open also. I think in the evening time it will be busier because now it's just around 6 o'clock in the afternoon. And here is the Adidharma Hotel. I've been to this hotel before and they have their restaurant which is serving a lot of Indonesian food. And here on the right side is the Joker Bar. It's open as well. And next to it is the Fortin Roses Hotel. So anybody of you have been staying around here? Here on the right side is the deck by the one Legian Hotel. But unfortunately, as you can see guys around here, the situations at the moment hardly to see tourists roaming around. I'm not really sure where are the tourists, maybe still at the beach or somewhere else. And here on the right side is the coffee pot, they have their happy hour there. And the restaurant is open, of course. I think you can come here for lunch and also dinner. And here on the left side is the Taman Ayu Hotel and they have their kind of like a small cafe or bar. And here on the left side is the Agung Cottages and next to it here there is a mini mart, Tattoo Studio open. Anyway, talking about Tattoo Studio, there are a lot of tourists that like to make tattoos in Bali. But to be honest with you, I'm not really sure which Tattoo Studio is the best one in Bali. Maybe I need to have a look or any recommendations from you. You can write down in our comment section because I believe there are some people like to come to Bali to make tattoo. And we are getting closer to the ground zero guys and here in the front of us the VIP they are still under a renovation but let's see how long it will be and here is the ground zero as you can see the situation only a few people here taking pictures and here is station I think the name of the place and there are some people there enjoying their time since the VIP is closed and Sky Garden is closed at the moment, so I think this place is uh, doing well. Okay, let's continue. We are entering Poppy's Lane 2, guys. So let's see how is the situation at this time. So don't go anywhere and keep watching. Okay, so this is the situation at Poppy's Lane 2. As you can see guys, it's almost the same situation with Legion Street. Still very quiet, very less scooters or cars passing by. But if you'd like to stay around here, as you can see the situation, most of the businesses are open. 
like shops, spa, and later let's see if the bar is open in Oso de Sa, Mexico. And anyway, if you are planning to come to Bali or you never been to Bali, if you want to do some shopping at this kind of shops, they don't have any price tag guys. So you just uh, ask the price and start bargaining to reduce the price. Anyway, it's good to do like a reasonable bargaining so that you are happy and also the sellers are happy. Okay, let's continue here on the right side. The bar is open. As you can see guys, there are some people there. And also here, there's a, another bar or kind of like a sport bar open nearby the Grand Barong Resort. And here in the front is the Grand Barong Resort and there are some people there. I think they are waiting for their cars or something. And look at this around here guys, a lot of shops open, tattoo studio, spa, and also this, uh, what you call this, spot bar, it's the turtle something, the name, I think where you can enjoy the drinks and also you can watch the sport matches. And look at this guys, it's nice to see some tourists roaming around in this area. I think the situation is a bit better compared than at Lekian Street. At least I can see some tourists roaming around in this area. Probably they are going to the beach to see the sunset. It's not too late to see sunset because Kuta Beach is really close from here. If you walk maybe like 10 minutes you will arrive at the Kuta Beach. And here on the right side guys, unfortunately this hotel is still remaining closed. There are a few people ask me about this hotel, I think if not mistaken it's the Bonti Hotel. And the situation is almost the same, nothing changed since COVID-19. Still remaining closed guys, let's hope the best for them so that they can um, open up their business again. And here on the right side, you can enter the beach walk from here, from the Poppies Lane 2. And there are a lot of their staff come uh, to this area to get some food or drinks during their break time. So it's always kind of like busy around in this area, guys. Okay, let's continue, let's keep driving and see more about this area. Here on the left side is Dekuta, they have their restaurant and also their hotel. And next to it here there is a kind of like a famous restaurant I think. As you can see guys, there are a lot of people here. I think if not mistaken is the Fat Chow restaurant. And probably they will be much busier during dinner time. And by the way, I would like to say thank you very much for all of you that always supporting and subscribing this channel. I do really, really appreciate it. For those of you who just found this channel, please guys, I do really need your support to subscribe because one subscribe from you is really important to grow this channel. And of course, you will receive a lot of updates about places in Bali with the latest situation. So once again, thank you very much guys.
Okay, so we are entering Jalan Pantai Kuta. So I will keep driving and let's see the situations around the Beach Walk Mall, guys. Last time I passed by here at night and it was kind of like busy, but this time, let's see. I think it's less crowded. There is no traffic around here. So here on the right side is the Beach Walk Mall, guys. And as you can see by this time, not really busy. Only a few people there at the restaurant area. And here is the front side of Beach Walk Mall. It's just okay. I mean, so-so. Not really busy or not quiet also. And maybe you're just wondering why people queuing up there before they enter the um, mall there is no kind of like um, special checking only like security check and here on the left side look at this guys there are so many scooters and where you can try a lot of um, street food Indonesian food like bakso or satay something like that And here on the right side is the Samudra restaurant by the Istana Rama Hotel. They are open but not really busy by this time. Okay everyone, that's all for today's video from this area in Kuta. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to support me by subscribing this channel. See you again in the next video. Thank you very much and bye now.